Kent's Landing is a town that everyone loves just the way it is, until an unexpected visitor threatens to change things forever. Excuse me, you're Amanda Brooks? Yes. You're the person I've come to see. I want to put you in my next book. It's on gardening. Can I pick your brain? Well, I don't know how much help I can be. From what I've heard, you could be a great help. An innocent in invitation. There's a new exhibit opening tonight at the art gallery. Everybody's going to be there. I'll introduce you to the mayor. Thomas! I'd like you to meet Monica Schulman. She's in town writing a book on our gardens. Monica, meet Mayor Thomas Mullering. Really? That's wonderful. Monica Schulman. Do I know that name from somewhere? I doubt it, unless you read gardening books. But then why would you be reading gardening books when you live in a whole town full of beautiful gardens? Mm. Because books and paintings and a casual introduction spawns an unlikely romance. My son Ron, the town hypochondriac, <laughs> thinks everything makes him sick, even flowers. Amanda is my most generous patron, and she never asks for anything in return. That's not true. I just never get it. And a web of jealousy. As romance takes root, so does a hidden deceit. I'm so glad that finally I found a wonderful thing that I'm not afraid of. You're so sweet. A casual suggestion conceals a dangerous deceit. You know, in these heavily shaded areas, you can get a Boudelon Fiafasi to grow. I'll get you some. Really? It really works. Look at that gorgeous cardinal over there. Mm. Beautiful. Hello, Amanda. Actually, I stopped by to invite Monica to dinner. That would be great. All right. And when the visitor's secret is discovered, I'll be damned. Intrigue, jealousy, and romance combine. Monica, I was hoping to run into you. Do you think Ron would like this on me? Why did you lie to me? You recommended that plant you knew would destroy my garden. I don't know what you're talking about. I think you know everything that I'm talking about. I think our visitor has a secret. I think she's dangerous. Because my son is more interested in her. No, because she is trying to destroy this town. A romantic rendezvous turns into a confrontation. Ron? I don't know why, but you're trying to destroy this town, and you're manipulating my son to help you do it. I'll tell you right now, I'm not going to let it happen. You're not going to have my son, and you're not going to destroy my town. You really don't know what you're up against. Neither do you. An entire town we rises to defend what it loves we most. He threatened me. He loves everybody. He wouldn't threaten anybody. You don't call this a threat? Dad, what the hell are you doing? Ron, I'm doing what you should be doing. Running Monica the hell out of town! Well, Amanda, you're just jealous. A young man must choose between romance and the town he loves. But I don't expect you to love me. But I do expect you to love this town. And the town must face the hidden passions of its past. You've made a mess out of this town. If you ask me, it was like that when I got here. Raw Purple Productions presents Barbara McLeod, Susan Corinne, Mario Montenegro, and Louis Levy in Weed of Deceit. This film has not yet been rated.